In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today we're looking at the sixth episode uh, of John chapter 5, verse 1 to 15. And we're really focusing in on verses 9 to 11. Yesterday we saw how the Lord heals the man with his command, with his word. He says, rise, take up your bed, and walk. And verse 9 we see that that it wasn't something that was optional because the Word of God spoke, the Logos, the one who is the logic of everything that is. He is the cause, the reason, what sustains all of life. He is the spoken Word of God and when He speaks, things are. One cannot sit and question and wonder but rather one can observe and see that when he speaks, it is, it's a revelation. And so we have in verse nine, the word immediately. He immediately was made well. Verse nine, and immediately the man was made well. That is the rise part. Remember it was a three part uh, command, rise, take up your bed and walk. The first part is, and immediately the man was made well. So really the rising is his healing. He took up his bed and walked. Rise, take up your bed and walk. And the man's response, immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. And in this parallel of verse eight and verse nine, we see what is the natural response of a human being to the word of God. Too often we have thought about, meditated on, spoken about, highlighted, contrasted, whatever you want, uh, studied the Word of God. But indeed, the, the proper human response is, and immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. What is the Lord? telling you and I today? What is he telling us that we are contemplating, thinking, wondering, maybe perhaps? Instead, we need to rise, take up our bed and walk immediately. His word is spoken. It is the truth. We obey and respond. Verse 10, we see that the Jews uh, came to him and said to him, because it was the Sabbath that he was healed, it is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered them and he didn't confess. He said, and, and didn't deny, he said, he, he who made me well said to me, take up your bed and walk. There's a point of reference now for this man's life. You have the law, which is Uh, words that must be obeyed. There are customs, there are rules. You cannot carry things. You have the Sabbath. You have this whole religious culture. You cannot do this. You cannot do this. You cannot eat fish on Fridays. You cannot um, eat before communion. You cannot... There's so much around this religious practice here. It is the Sabbath. How dare you carry your bed? They do not see that the Sabbath was there for for he, the healing of humanity. And so this man, as as, uh, as Saint Cyril of Alexandria says, this man was healed. He's already fulfilled the purpose of the Sabbath. And so not carrying is no longer relevant. So we have this religious, you know, culture and and set of rules and practices. Then the man has a completely different frame of reference. He says, the man who made me well, he who made me well said to me, take up your bed and walk. I've been healed. He's my new law. He's my new point of reference. He is the one that decides for me. Whether it's lawful or not, it doesn't matter. He who made me well, he who made me well said to me, take up your bed 
and walk. And so I get up and walk. Too often we are reading books on self-help. Too often we're approaching our faith as, if I just put a little more effort, I'll become a good person. Only leading to more and more of the ego. If only I can become a little more pious, if only I can follow the rules just a little better, if I could just be a little stricter with the religious context given to me, if only I could truly fast nine hours before communion, right on the dot and not break that, then I'll, I'll, I'll become a better person, then I can have communion without having my conscience, you know, bothering me. Communion, the Eucharist, was given to us for our healing. Sabbath is given to us for our healing. Once we are made well, we become obedient to the one who made us well. It is no longer about these outward manifestations or outward, you know, pious practices. Rather, it is the one who made me well. Too often, we are trying to make ourselves well on our own, ignoring the one who with a word said, rise, take up your bed and walk. And from that moment where we are healed of our sin, healed of our separation, healed of our brokenness and our old man, when the old man is crucified with the Lord, when we are healed and we are told to take up our bed and walk, it doesn't matter if it's the Sabbath or the Monday, it doesn't matter. There, there are no more rules because he who made me well said to me, I believe that there will come a day where it will be illegal to speak the truth. It will be illegal to walk according to the scripture. And in that day, we will need the courage of this man to say, he who made me well told me to do this. Whether it is to love, whether it is to serve, Whatever it is, may we have the same encounter. May we also be made well so that we have a point of reference and say, the one who made me well told me to do this. What is it to you? Have a beautiful day.